Hi everyone, this is Aya. I have a small haul to share uh, with you. So let's get started. The haul is from Scrap Diva Designs. So I got this die. Uh, there's no names on the die, uh, but this is like a roof tops. She has like um, a house advent calendar and this is a thing like add on or something, but I can see myself using, you know, in, in different, not only for our houses. Then I got this one, it's a like slimline house. I think this is the add-on because it has like a layering die. The other one just um, a house. And then I got this die and it's called, oh my god, it's very hard to pronounce this word. <laughs> anyway, you know what it is. So I really love it. Then finally, this amazing die is cute, like kitchen utensils, and it has like these small hearts. That's very cool, yeah. So now let me show you what did I create with all these uh, dies. Okay, everyone, I die cut everything, and I know I have tons of embellishments, just need to put them in a card or a tag. So let me show you how all these dies cut. So this is the first die, this is the rooftop. So here are all um, the cuts or the rooftops. I distressed the edges using uh, the Distress Ink Vintage Photo. So cute. Okay, let me show you the second die. Uh, this one, the kitchen utensil. I just die cut uh, only these three to try to see the difference between this die and my creative time this one i just want to see the size difference and this is uh, my creative time look to the difference i really wanted to have different sizes and i'm really happy with the scale i think i need just a middle size <laughs> yeah see I'm so sorry about the shadow, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe if I can zoom in. Yeah, so this is Scrap Diva Designs uh, size, the very large size, and this is the small size by my creative time. Um, I don't know what's the name, but I will write it in the description box below. Okay. Uh, next, I'm not sure if I showed you this one. This is a banner die by Scrap Diva, and it's so big beautiful look at this I love the bows and the layering so cute then we have the ginger ah oh, so cute also this is um, the ginger two different sizes plus you can have the border for shaker but I'm not a big fan you know of any shape shakers <laughs> This is the other um, accessory. So let me show you this because this is really fun. So for the large size, look, this is the large size. I'm sorry, let me do something about the sun. Just a second. One eternity later. So this is the large size. Look how cute she is. So I added her hair and bow, her dress and her scarf. And this is the utensil by uh, Scrub Diva. And if you're going to use the shadow, not sorry, not the shadow, the, the border, you can use it like this without being, you know, do a shaker. Also, you can have another size if you will not use the shadow. So you can have two sizes of the bigger size and two sizes of the small size. I hope I make sense. Uh, so this is the big size. And if you remove the border, you have completely different size. You see, it will be a little bit smaller than the original size. Now let me show you the small size. Here she is, she's so cute. This is with the border and this is without the border. So cute. And you can get another size of the smaller die. This ginger, I'm sorry, it was brown cardstock. I, I can't believe that I, I ran out from, you know, the craft cardstock. Oh. Okay, anyway, so this is with the border, without the border, you have completely different size or a smaller size. For example, like mommy, mommy ginger and baby ginger, for example. So that's very cool die. 
it has tons of die cuts for accessories but I swear I will never ever think about it <laughs> I'm not patient enough I think so this is for the for the icing eyes and everything but I used a uh, jaded blossom uh, face stamp I'm not sure if I have it here no but uh, yeah I think it's a smaller I think I need a bigger stamp set I'm not sure but I like it okay okay now for the house so here's the house so this is the layering house and this is the other house die this is you know uh, here are the windows the heart also comes with a heart and a layering heart or oh, sorry not a layering it's a, like a border so cute. Also, you have the option to use the layering uh, die. For example, and you add the heart, the windows, as you see, not like this. Or you can use this, I think you can you do an, a shaker card. Yeah, I think it could be. <laughs> this is just an idea. Then for this die, so you can cut it like this big size or you can just do these together then you would end up with a frame you can add a frame for this also cute okay and last but not least this cute gingerbread face I think I unfortunately I placed my sandwich wrong when I use a magnet platform and unfortunately or you know the dies just got bended yeah anyway let me show you what i made with this cute one this is the first one. Oh, she's so cute <laughs> and this is the second one as i said i ran out from a uh, craft card stock so i had to use white but i think it's okay <laughs> now to put all these cute embellishments into cards I used all of these stuff to make my projects. Let me put them here for now. And let's see. Okay. Okay, so this is the first card, or I'm not sure, shall I say postcard. Uh, this is a ready made, let's say, card uh, by Simple Stories. Uh, this one called Baking Spirit uh, Bright. And this is the card if you see here down below. Let me just zoom. Yeah, this one. So I just adhered my ginger and I added a sticker as my sentiment. To be honest, I didn't stamp anything. I just used the stickers and it's here somewhere. I'm going to show you in a bit. So this is really, really easy to make. I just added my ginger. And yeah, this is the cute whisk and a chocolate dip. I used uh, liquid pearls and this one uh, dark chocolate. Okay. Okay, dokie. Next. Again, same idea. I used these postcards, die cuts, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I put this uh, donut girl or waffle maybe. <laughs> I did her face with um, memory keepers. Oh, great, great. Memory keys, a keeper embossing folder. I'm not sure what was the name. Let me check if I have the packaging. One eternity later. Uh, okay, here is the packaging, but doesn't have a name. Maybe you can take the number. It's like 661198. And it comes also with a honeycomb uh, embossing folder. This is 2D. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I feel this is cute also. <laughs> Next card is this one. Again, another gingerbread face, the girl. And uh, I'm not sure if, I don't know, my daughter said it looks creepy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe because of the, the gemstone or I didn't put her eyebrows in a right way. To be honest, I don't know which one's the right way. It's the, the eyelashes, sorry, it's the eyelashes would be this way, up or down, I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, so this is the second card. Uh, yeah, the 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 wavy circles by my creative time, all supplies I use, I'm gonna write them in the description box 
below now I didn't use these. Okay, uh, what else? Next, a uh, slime line card has been a while since I really made the slime line uh, card. So I have the house, the cute ginger, please focus, and the banner. And here is another die cut ginger uh, by Simple Stories. And this die is by My Creative Time. I like this size, not that big, you know, for a slum line. Yeah, it's all cute. Another cute one. This is a chubby gingerbread girl. She's so cute. I use this, uh, I think it's four inch, uh, yeah, here it is. Four inch card die, circle die by my creative time. And I think it comes with layering. I'm not sure, don't cut me on that. Uh, this is the three and this is four, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna write the names in the description box anyway. Uh, I use the kitchen utensils by Scrap Diva. She's so cute. Oh, and the chocolate drip. I really love it. This this um, uh, liquid pearl is really good. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, and for the I I really needed another big circle die. This one uh, because the pink. Yeah. Oh, see. I don't know, I think I put it on something. Anyway, this was a really bright uh, pink, so I needed really another circle die that can hide as much as I can from the pink. So I used this set by Cottage Cuts, Pierced Circle. It's really nice, uh, nice uh, dies. Yeah, I distrust most of the gingers with this red ink, so I have Vintage Photo and Walnut Stain. I use these uh, crystal gems for her cheek. Let me just go quickly. And this one, the Brad's Black Brad's, also for the uh, chocolate. I think this one. Else, yeah, these are the gingers that I used in most of the the cards. And this is the banner here. Next is another slimline card. This is really a uh, long slimline. This is small slimline. <laughs> uh, so the die I used for this one, uh, first this is the house or the slimline house by Scrap Diva. I used this die by Mama Elephant called Slim Card, Slim Card Basics. So I used this scalloped one. And I added some uh, glitter. Uh, this Glitter. It's from Amazon. It's like, uh, what else did I use? Yeah, I die cut some gingers from the Simple Story paper. Uh, yeah, that's it. And this is the sticker sheets by Maggie Home. I used stickers all uh, on my cards. And this is the gingerbread girl. I'm really, really sad about this one. The, the rooftops I used for the house and the utensils here and this is by a graphic 45 for the doorknob oh okay this I think I showed you the door I used for this slim line for the cardstock I used cut cardstock sample pack it has all these colors and if you like someone you uh, if you like someone <laughs> If you like a color, uh, you can go to the website and type the name, for example, uh, Amethyst 105 cover, for example. And also this is by uh, Cut Card Stock. This oh, yeah, and this is the stamp by J.D. Blossom that has fresh faces, but I think I need to buy bigger uh, faces, maybe from Peachy Keen. So here are all my projects. I hope you like them and get inspired. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye!